can't do it. You're going to do an hour and a half now walking around. I can't, I can't give up. I can't do it again. Babe. Pat, eventful day yesterday. Everything was going perfectly and then it wasn't. Uh, what happened? Yeah. Um, fundamentally, hats off to the podium. Indy Lee winner. But yeah, for me, I had a good swim. It wasn't super tactical but it was a, a good effort and time wise it was decent I felt strong on the bike but not strong enough to to you know dent the gap but to hold it and I was really like mentally preparing myself for like what I thought was going to be an outstanding run I, I was so excited coming into this race because my run form in training was perfect and got off the bike and ran I think 400 meters and it was just you know one turn around done and that, and that, and that was it the calf just sort of went so it happened on a u-turn on up no I had turned you know you had to do the all put out and back so I saw Lucy I saw Indy 500 meters or whatever in front yeah. um turned around and it was just it was just a you know there was no there was no event it just and we saw you when it happened you were a bit animated. It was like you went through a range of emotions. You you sort of kept putting your hands out like you were like, what, why, like, what's happening? And then it almost looked like you put your hands, like you're heading your hands and started crying almost. And then you went back to like why and anger. And then we obviously saw you and your partner, Mark, having a bit of a argument out on course about, I don't know what, what were you experiencing? What were you feeling? What were you thinking? Initially, I guess I sort of knew it, what, it was a, a, game you know a showstopper you go through that no no come on what what else could it be so physio brain in me is like this doesn't feel right oh it's tight that's that's tight that's tight that's not working that that's not functioning what else could it be what you know differential diagnosis is just someone from the side said it's okay just walk it off and I was like yeah okay I'll just I'll just walk it off I'll calm down you know I can do this I've never cramped in a race before I don't cramp there's not I don't that's not me I, I, I don't have a um that sort of it's not one of my issues you know I thought maybe it could just be an extreme cramp but uh it didn't feel like it and I think the the frustration was just like surely not like I there was no expert I couldn't come up with any rationale so I was like okay I'll just it'll be fine I just and I it was a denial of like I'll just try again I'll just try again I'll just try again and I think I went through that a few times before eventually just just despair just go back a couple of steps when you came off the bike and you had the you had um india lee your training partner out in front with lucy charles barclay did you know exactly where you were at in training relative to india and you'd seen the gap and you thought i can i can catch these girls and that's why maybe it was such like a i don't know heartbreaking thing to happen to you because you knew you were in a real chance to win the race um, I don't think I can answer that fairly because it didn't come to fruition. But it, in that moment, yeah, I don't think I've ever been as close to striking distance to Lucy, who was leading. Um, and I knew I could run faster than Indy. So whether I could run two and a half minutes faster than her, I didn't know, but I was confident. Um, I didn't know she was going to do a great run. Um, and I think at that moment, yeah, I thought I can win this. And even, it must have been about lap 16 on the bike, Mark had already said, you know, like, you're in a winning position. There was no more time splits. It was like, you are going to, you are in the position to win this race. And I think I then, I had that in my mind of, I'm, this gap is close enough. I can do this. And so if Mark says to you, at that point in the race, you can win this. He also said a similar thing on, on camera when he was on broadcast. And then the next time we see Mark is having that uh, argument with you on course, how did the conversation change? What was being said then? Oh, the, I think there was a miscon um, that was misconstrued a bit. I wasn't arguing with Mark. Well, he said you weren't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to physically bring you know, hug me take me off the course but obviously by touching me I know the rules that's like DQ and I had not dealt with the fact I had not come to terms with the fact that my race was over and I just couldn't fathom the idea 
of another DNF. And so the argument was, the technical official said, oh, that's outside assistance. Totally correct. And I said, he's not blipping, helping me. <laughs> and so there was, that was a minor disagreement. And so he stepped back and he kept just trying, he was just, he was being supportive. I wasn't arguing at, I, was, I wasn't actually arguing at him. I was saying, it's not fair, why? And I was in a state of self-pity. It didn't go from, I can win this race to, but in the blink of an eye, my race is done. Is that why it was so hard to process? Yeah, I guess so. Any race result is always about where I'm at in T2. And I know I can, I know I'm so much confident in my run. It was more of like, oh my goodness, I've done enough. And, and then it was just ripped away for no, with no reason. This confidence in your run, the run training you've been doing, especially given that the winner in India Lee is your main training partner, can you talk to me about why you were so confident and how your training has looked, maybe even compared to India, if, if you would? So my run training, um, not sure what Indies looks like, probably much more um, normal to most people. My running is, um, I think, a bit unusual uh, in, in the way that I will... I haven't done any intervals really maybe a couple of runs in February where I did a few like five minute tempos um three times five minutes at tempo um which is my classic session the same my coach Bjorn Giesel and coach Patrick Langer Jan Strapman um but it wasn't until last week where I was like begging for some threshold reps that I I got on you know I got to run a little bit faster but with absolutely no problems no concerns nothing so maybe there's something there, but I don't think so. And how bad do you think the calf is? Have you self-diagnosed it? Are you going to go get a scan? I'm a British physio. We believe in uh, in scanning. Doesn't unless it's going to tell you something different. Don't bother. In, well, I believe. Um, so I know exactly what's wrong with it at the moment, and um, I know healing timelines, and I will review it in 48 hours. The best case scenario would be running in 10 days and most likely probably two and a half weeks. Worst case scenario in four to six weeks. Yeah, there's a saying in, in sport that there's no such thing as a two-week calf, but everyone always tells you it can be 10 days. <laughs> and so that's a the classic physio and you say, oh, it could be 10 days. Yeah. But knowing but it's I, going to be more like two to three weeks. I, I have treated a lot of calves. Um, and I've treated myself in the past, like 2017, you know, six, six more and more years ago, I've had calf injuries. Um, I've got confidence that I know what I'm doing and I will be the ultimate patient. And I have had a lot of practice in the last year or so of being a good patient. So rehab is my forte, maybe more than racing. <laughs> oh, <we don't. laughs> what race is next in the T100 series? I am going to focus on uh, San Fran. Um, Singapore doesn't work for me uh, in terms of the dates. And to be honest, it sounds very challenging in many ways. And I don't necessarily seek the satisfaction of average in humidity. I want to be excellent in um, like a normal environment. I don't know what triathlon has about crazy environments i understand it um love the sport so gonna miss singapore and focus on san francisco is my next song cat hopefully you can sort the calf and uh we'll see you at uh, san fran thanks yeah fingers crossed